Literally, it's no press on your host banging bugs. It's your girl, Jess K. For real. And we got a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Man, peace, peace. It's your boy, Eastside KO from Latonia, Georgia, in here. We're popping. Uh, Latonia. Okay, so uh, you still in Latonia now? Or nah, man. Um, you know, I just went to the military and everything like that. Came back and I just bought a spot with the VA loan. Congratulations. Um, hey. Never again bother to tell yourself. That's I know that's right. You know right. what I'm saying? But at the same time, the way they work the game, you got to sometimes work the game if that makes sense. Well, been the same. same. Yeah, you got to play, play them cards, too. Okay, so did you grow up with um, both your parents? Oh, uh, definitely. Um, you know, definitely grew up with both my parents. Mom really stayed at home. My dad was a hustler. So while I'm out playing ball, you know, um, in school and all that stuff like that, really, you know, he got, I don't really see pops to 11, 12 o'clock at night. So it's really, you know, he there, but it's really honestly like growing up with just a mom in the house. He just come, lay his head, wake up, he got to go make the coin. Oh, that shit make a difference. Yeah, you know, it, it definitely do. You know, it definitely, definitely do. Okay, so y'all close now? Nah, man, that's a situation, honestly, uh, not touching or nothing like that, but I want to say, you know, um, sometimes when you put out more to other people and you keep getting hurt, you got to find out what's the problem. And where do you stop getting hurt at? And so that's kind of where you know where we're at now. So you got to pull your energy yeah, back from my energy away, like from my from both of them. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, we like 15 minutes away. They don't even. I got a five year old daughter. You know what I'm saying? They don't call. Mm -hmm. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Come to birthday parties. Hey, don't do nothing. So I'm meeting friends. You know what I'm saying? My cameraman that's here, a personal partner. But mud is thicker than blood. That's what I believe. So I hear that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna dig into this a little bit. So yeah. When was the last time you reached out and did you cry like when you knew he was like, he's just like, you feel like he's saying fuck you? Yeah, like, so the last time, so they had a business, you know what I'm saying? They did the uh, trans uh, mobile transportation. You know what I'm saying? That's a company where they went, picked up, you know, all the elderly people are handicapped, taking them dialysis, different appointments like that. Um, I just, just say like the last moment, just ultimate blatant disrespect, you know, because um, he taught me don't never let nobody disrespect you in front of your kids. You know, uh, situation. I'm giving my daughter a bath, and he's, I don't know, drinking or whatever, but just going off, mm -hmm. going off, and just saying everything in front of my. I'm like, man, you gotta have some respect. Then he goes, you know, act like he wants to shoot, shoot, shoot at me. I'm just like, that was it. Grab my daughter, grab our stuff, and we out. You put a gun on you? Act like he wanted to, and I'm just okay. like, hey, you pull it. You know it's gonna come with it. So if you don't want it to go there, they just start this conversation. And you know, glad you know nothing transpired mm -hmm. from that situation. But at the same time, that was just my wake up call. It was like anybody could want you know the worst from you, and you know what I'm saying that was from that day. Just never looked back. If that makes sense. Found my peace as, as well with with the situation. Yeah. So is he like a street dude that went good later on in life? Man, honestly, my dad is a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Just a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was a foster, uh, a foster child and stuff like that. So he didn't know love. And so, you know what I'm saying? He told us several times, even when I was in the service and all that, like, you know, hey, you know, I did my best. You know what I'm saying? Did my best for you, but I didn't know love. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to give you that. And you know, I had to kind of respect it, if that makes sense. He knew how to hustle and support yeah, you. Yeah, but he didn't know how to love life. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, I'm in like 10th grade. We go to pick out some shoes and all that shit like that. I'm like, hey, dad, what's my favorite color? He like, shit, you need green. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, dad, what's my best friend name? Oh, uh, shit, I don't know. Right. It just like shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So that really kind of got me like, once I seen that, he didn't really give a fuck. I'm just like, shit, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Make some real friends, find some real mentors and OGs that really, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, show me this, show me how to get money, show me this, and you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of where I went with it. You know what I'm saying? Again, no love lost, every situation made me to what I am, so that's where we at. Don't you feel like that's a poor excuse though? Like somebody saying they didn't get something so they don't know how to give it to you? Because matter of fact, uh, the comedian Donnell Rollins, he was just saying like a bad father will make you want to be a better bad, father. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like that's a poor excuse. Yeah, definitely, though. definitely. Um, Hey man, I put it like this. Uh, you can't want if that you can't want with somebody never like I cannot want from you if you ain't never experienced it. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying. So my like finding love, I had uh, I ended up getting close to my grandpa, 
So he really filled that void. If that makes sense, he played Nero Leeds with Kansas City Martin Arts catcher. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And he started too. So I go anytime in uh, St. Louis, Kansas City, Missouri, get into the uh, Nero League Hall of Fame, they just buy face card. Like anybody I'm with, that's a cool thing. But he was the person that really, you know, showed me love. Like, I'll go, if something happened, or I'm about to go to a party, he'll just call out the blue, like, hey, what are you doing? Keep him in the house this weekend. And I'm like, damn, what the hell going on? And you you all the way in Kansas City, you know what I'm saying? How you right. calling the shot like that? And then end up happening, somebody end up dying at this party. Mm -hmm. Or some situation, just like, I felt it. It, it, just, it comes with time. So once I start seeing, you know, he kept making more calls like that, he checked shots, uh, book bag found weed, and I'm just like, how the fuck he know? You know what I'm saying? He all the way up there, but once, it, once I kept, Learning from now, I'm like, let me tap in with him and see what he know. Mm -hmm. And then that became my best friend. So that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? I look up to him like my dad, that makes sense. Yeah. You had somebody say that. It wasn't all bad. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't all bad. Okay, so what would you say the most dramatic experience um, you had as a child? Most dramatic experience, uh, seeing somebody get shot in the head. Damn. Dead serious. Um, partner Andy, rest, Lord rest his soul. Bad drunk, uh, bad uh, drug deal. Right across the street from my house. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know where Redan Park at? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I grew up at. Right over there by Redan Park. That's a little house where the, uh, I had a fence mm -hmm. on the little corner. That was my house. Long story short, dad was selling dope with, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to bring no names into it. Nothing, yeah. nothing like that. Um, They stopped fucking with each other, but bro still kept selling. I don't know, bro. Killed a bro for an ounce. What? Yeah, pulled up on him. You know what I'm saying? He always used three fives to do. He like, hey, man, what you, what you need this for? Like, you always get three fives. Make that get to you. Right. Pulled up on him. And then I don't think I remember. I'm playing a game. I just, like, see flashes. I'm like, what the hell? My dad come in there, gun drawn, flip the bed over. Like, get down there shooting. And we look up. We just see the whole thing go down. Mm. His body sat out there for, like, six, seven hours before police came. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, his police didn't even get there first. Bro, mom got there first. Mm. Yeah, and it was just, that, that shit was like dramatic. So yeah. ever since then, that shit always been stuck with me. Just a whole bunch of like small little shit, but that was the most the most dramatic experience that I've like, ever. Do you feel like you took something from that to be like, I ain't doing this shit or? Uh, definitely. Uh, to be honest, that situation right there was really watch the company you keep. Because mm -hmm. at that time I was going into, I'll say my 12th grade or 11th grade year, mm -hmm. I had a whole bunch of friends. I'm, you know, fighting. Um, really starting to, you know what I'm saying, learn about gangs, doing all this stuff like that. And that right there, like, I was just like, damn, like, this is where this road can take you. You know what I'm saying? And my dad just like, shit, you gotta make it like, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't shy away from telling us what happened. And that's kind of a situation I always keep in, you know what I'm saying, in the back of my head. Cause literally a day before that, uh, bro played football too. He was on scholarship and everything like that. Um, I was playing ball. He was like, shit, bro, I'll race you right now for $200. I'm like, shit, let's go. He beat me and still gave me the money. Mm -hmm. So after that, that's I always like, I always say RP Andy. I like, I carry that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I'm like, damn, like literally the day after, bro gave me $200. I was like, bro, go get your hair cut, go get you some shoes. I know your parents don't do all that shit for you. But uh, so yeah. I, I held on to that 200 for like the longest I could, if that makes sense. I like I, but that shit was like yeah. almost a half a year before I literally touched that shit. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, so um, <clears throat> you got a song called Fake Love. So, uh, what's something someone has done for you that you knew it wasn't sincere and you knew it was fake? It's like fake love. Man, just honestly, uh, fake love is that song right there. That was just a a, a ball of emotions. You know what I'm saying? That's where really where my music stems from. Uh, fake love, like. Everything it could be you giving too much into a person and they don't give it back. You know what I'm saying? It could be um, you laying down with somebody every night knowing that you got interest in somebody else or knowing that you're not truly happy. You know what I'm saying? Fake love could be you out here being hard when you know you ain't never did none of this or you rapping about shooting guns and you know you don't even know how to load the motherfucker. You don't even know how to break it down. You know what I'm saying? Fake love is all that. So. Fake love, that song really came from learning how to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's why I just say I'm tired of the fake love because I'm tired of faking love for this, faking love for that, experiencing this. You know what I'm saying? I need to find real love. I need to gain my spirituality back, find my ancestors and stuff like that. So once I start doing all that, 
that's when that song came just you know what I'm saying just came I feel like it always come from the universe okay. I don't I don't ever sit down chart like I gotta make five six five ass songs I'll sit down sometimes play music smoke and if I don't even hear one song I mean you know, if I don't even make one song I'm like shit okay it's cool it's, it's coming mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying that's my method like I, I can't going to like that's why I had to build my own studio because I was wasting so much money like I'm like damn I spent seven hundred dollars a day you and go in the studio without knowing what you want make no nah, so like me I'm a vibe I'm big on energy okay. you know what I'm saying so like I would go in the studio sometime and the engineer like he probably got these beats I'm like all right let's go you know what I'm saying I'm like I'm not feeling no more nah I'm trying to go this way go that way you know I still make the deal plan because we both spent time there but that like how I how I am with the energy, I had to build my own stuff because mm-hmm. I was tired of wasting that money. So now I just literally play music, vibe. I always like um I get a lot of inspiration from my boy the kid has. <coughs> he take literally take his notepad out, write a couple of things on how he feeling, and then that's how he form his song. Like so I started doing that the same way. Like how am I feeling today? Boom, 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 and then now that's how I start forming my songs. Like and then too, I don't rush to complete a song. I, uh, my favorite artist in the world is J. Cole. And he even said it like, bro, I'll be on the two, four bars for two weeks sometimes. Cause it has to sound the way I want it to sound. I have to get my emotional expression across when I hear it. So that's what, that's where I'm at with the music now. So you got a, um, a favorite bar or two from uh, J. Cole that kind of like, does it like mean something to you? Favorite bar or two? I'm be honest. Everything that man say is bop. I'm be honest, that's how I am. I said, I believe the best thing I ever heard J. Cole said, like a verse for me is like a brick or like or something like that. But he's doing the math, it's like 10,000 or something like that. Every word, but he that's like him knowing his work. But my favorite thing ever put out by J. Cole was Born Center. That and um, for your eyes on, mm-hmm. I, I, I put that with Born Center though. That was that was when it's I so felt. Fire, so yeah, that was when I felt like he was really in his bag when he made the born scene. I was like, yeah, he really finding his like lane with the music. You know what I'm saying? He's not too hard, and he's showing people he's not too soft either. So that's I fuck with that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> a toxic female you tried to keep, but nothing you um ever did is like good enough. Man, hey, shout out to Chelsea. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, he put her right hey, out there too. Nah, for real, I got the, like I got a uh, tattoo. It's like this little um, statue lady, but she broken. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to love the girl while she was broken. She didn't. She didn't know. You know what I'm saying? No better for herself. And I'm this my person. I'm just seeing like I'm like damn like my favorite thing when it comes to women. You look like Gabrielle Union. You got my heart. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that was I was like damn she chocolate. She got the glasses. She put on heels. I, that was new for me. I'm from the east side. They wear Jordans and shit and, and, and Uggs and all that. It's nothing bad, Can't but for the east side yeah, but I'm just saying like, so I'm like, damn, so I'm looking at side, so you know what I'm saying? Where these is? I'm like, she bad, you know what I'm saying? So got with her, boom. Man, I'm doing everything. I'm trying to, you know, I'm out here selling dope, doing everything, end up getting an apartment. So now, you know, it's me, her, I got a little Tudor money call up. I'm doing my thing. Come home one day, whole apartment gone. Had to save with. Fifteen hundred. This is my first rack I ever like stacked up to. Fifteen hundred dollars, gone. Damn. Yeah, yeah. She robbed you. Yeah, yeah. Wrote my ass a whole note. Boy, I ripped. I didn't even read that. Ripped you didn't read it. it? Not ripped that shit up. Wiped my tears away. Went back. Got down. Went back to my pond in them spot, and that was it. Like that's it. Yeah, I seen it since then. I, I did see it since then. Like I always tell her, like, bro, like if I if you lucky, like just that one day, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Because if that if I was any other mood that day, like she would have got touched. But I was just like, you know what? Yeah, I got something better for me. You know what I'm saying? Then I look at my life now. You know what I'm saying? Compared to two. And again, you keep doing good, you keep living the righteous way or trying to walk in a life, you're always gonna find your way back to it, if that makes sense. So her life is fucked up right now? Nah, fuck that. She getting the she getting the stuff right. You know what I'm saying? She getting the stuff right. She actually doing real good, you know what I'm saying? I would say finally. She's doing better than yeah, she, where doing, she was. She's doing better than where she was back then. You know what I'm saying? She's got a, she got a lot of stuff going on, but I always know what I'm saying time to time. I will reach out like, hey, you straight? You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're straight just Damn, because you still like, like her. Nah, hell no, nah, not even that. Not even that. I, I wanna always <laughs> see people do good. Like if I ever had contact with you in life, 
I always want to keep a tab just to make sure you're straight, like make sure you're a good person. But you know, I like a lot of my exes, some of them be like born losers. Like if they ain't got no nigga, <laughs> nah. if they ain't got no solid nigga who with them, they always fucked up. Yeah, yeah, nah, she's straight though. She yeah. the type she don't even want to do it now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she she just on her shit, like trying to make make her bad, trying to establish herself. So I am fucking you know, hey, I'm with with the growth. Anytime I see somebody trying to better themselves from what they used to do, I gotta fuck with it. Because if you could be doing anything else with your 24 hours. Like you, I feel like I'm the same way with like exes, period. Like, I wanna make sure you still okay. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. really want no bad blood. Yeah, no I'm bad blood at all. But if you end up locking in with somebody to the point where it's like, nah, this my girl, I'm about to get yeah. married to this person, you still gonna be checking in on them? Uh, nah, hell nah, 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 nah. I'm, hey, actually, I am married though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Are you yeah. still checking in on Chelsea? Nah, nah, I don't check in on oh. her. <laughs> nah, not no more. But, Let's hey, get clear. I, nah, actually, you know, I said I'm a father, daughter, she's five. You know what I'm saying? She start karate Monday. So, hey, I'm going to tell everybody we going to fight Monday. I know, that's right. But, um, but yeah, my daughter, she's everything, Miss Naya. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jazz because that she literally changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I went to the Navy, but my real reason for doing that shit was just because I was sleeping in my Monte Carlo that I fixed up and all that shit. And she hit me like, hey, I'm pregnant. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, shit, I can either be like everybody else out here that I know and see, or I can goddamn suck up four years for myself to give my daughter a better foundation or a better head start in it, life. It was on purpose? Hmm? What, like the baby? Pregnancy, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, she wanted no mistake. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? She, she, like, she, my wife knew what she was doing. I knew what she was doing. I knew what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't never, I don't never want to say not no mistake because it takes two to make it. Y'all both know the process y'all are doing, so whatever. It's not that's never a mistake. In other words, you were shooting the club, but uh, oh, y'all hey, hey, <laughs> let <Lynn> loose. Hey, <laughs> he was hey. Fire, fire. <laughs> J Cole said, uh, "Run it." Hey, run it. Hey, <laughs> run it. Hey, when she changed my life, I'm still with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm kind of on that old time show. My grandpa had the shotgun with her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? At 14 years old. You know what I'm saying? So. I was just say the same way, shit. I told her, her dad, that was kind of the biggest moment, of, scariest moment of my life, other yeah. than seeing my partner deceased. But yeah, he looked me in my eyes like, nigga, what you gonna do? I'm like, shit, I'm always be here with me. <laughs> and shit, I'm still here. But you still you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah still on, I stayed on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, I always say it for any man, though, the biggest thing is don't ever have your kid out here not having a relationship with your dad, with their dad. You know what I'm saying? Because I know even them having a dad but not having that relationship of where that can lead you. So just imagine you not, they don't even see you. You know what I'm saying? And you already know your mom trying to feel that boy and everybody else that's coming along just want one thing. So now you're gonna see all these different things. So I'm, again, you're gonna play that role. You know, your kid deserve it. You, you, they ain't asked to be here. They were straight up there in the soul playing in the spirit world. They were straight, they ain't asked to come back. You know what I'm saying? We brought them back for help for us. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe every kid is a lesson for yourself. They, they show you what you lack. Yeah, but um, for my exes, I'd be glad when they be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. You know what I mean? They apartment got caught on fire. Yeah, now nah, some my of them, yeah. beat me up, I'd be like, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you telling nah, me? No, nah, I'd just be like, oh, man. It's I got a few, though. I got a few. I'm saying it in my head. You're nah, like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely got a few of those. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Where? And he shot at you too. He hit you. Damn. Damn, you gonna die? Oh, okay. Well, let me know you dying though. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a few like that. Got a few I like that. You. Yeah, yeah. I, I see you up there. <laughs> okay, this is something I've been experiencing. Um, it's kind of random, but this chick, she blocked me. She got my number blocked, but she still let me smash from time to time. So. Yeah. Have you ever had something like that? Like something just weird, like a chick who, I guess, I don't know, she kind of don't want to be with you, but she yeah. still kind of want to be with you? Yeah, all the time, especially in college. Yeah, hell yeah, all the time. You know what I'm saying? In college, I was, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to uh, play, do the Greek, you know, do the whole Greek thing and stuff like that before I knew who I was on the inside. Are you in college? Uh, nah, I ain't, go, I ain't go with it. I ain't drop line though, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I ain't. You didn't start? Nah, I ain't, we ain't never start just because the, the time period and you know what I'm saying I was at Savannah State with Gamma Chi. shout out to all of them you know what I'm saying shout out to everybody down there but just the timing was off you know what I'm saying they was still, uh, that's Savannah State but of what Gamma Chi Kaplan 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can look at people and be uh, like, what was yeah, you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I said my big brother, okay. Jawan Clements, you know what I'm saying? He won. You know what I'm saying? So, he was a big, he's still a big influence in my life. So, you know what I'm saying? I went down there on that mission. But, you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't go, you know what I'm saying, the way it was supposed to. But I don't ever discredit none of that. Because so, I learned a lot from them. Like, some of them are still big, big mentors. Brothers. Yeah, big mentors in my life. Felt like they knew who my brother was, but it was just time. Time was off, but at the same time, now that I know who I am, I don't need that to fulfill me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if they gonna fuck with you, somebody gonna fuck with you, it shouldn't matter if you, if you and they gang, set, frat, sorority, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? People gonna be people. Okay, so when the last time you barely had it, but you helped um, somebody anyway? All the time. All the time, man. Um, that's, hey, that's something that I uh, preach. You know what I'm saying? My daughter now. Um, we give away clothes, everything, you know, I take it with me, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, you know, I pack up some stuff, like, especially around the holidays. Mm -hmm. Pack up some stuff that you know you're not playing with, and, you know, let's, you know, go donate it because you always give it to somebody that don't have it. Or at the time, they might not just have, you know what I'm saying, the necessities to obtain mm -hmm. what you're giving them. So that's, I'm always trying to teach her to give because your blessings are going to come from that. But you can't give and you can't give pretty much looking for a blessing. It has to be from your heart. That's what I was going to ask. You got to teach. I'll go ahead. No, I was going to ask that too. Like, all right, so you give in to make sure you get something nah, back? No, nah, I give from the heart just because, like, I was a kid. Like, I got, the, I had all the older brothers and stuff like that. But I had always, I always had hand-me-downs. Mm -hmm. That's why I started learning how to hustle. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wearing my dad and mom for hand and nails. Shit, that I look at my class, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to rock in today. You know what right. I'm saying? That was like that, but... I did that just because, like, I ain't wanna. I had, you know, what I'm saying friends stuff like that, fresh as hell, all that. I was just like, damn, like, I knew how it felt to be without in a lot of situations and without new cleats, you know, what I'm saying without just necessity. So anytime I always have a chance to pay something for it, I always get. It. You really relating to J Cole over there, huh? Nah, that's, that's, hey. <laughs> J Cole got the same story, don't it? No, hey, that's how I am. No, anytime I want to pay something, like anytime I get the chance to pay it for it, no matter if it's like my last ten dollars, because I always feel like that's the universe and God testing you on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you know you're gonna get more money, then don't worry about that. So you give it to every homeless person in LA. If they ask for it, but some of them motherfuckers be tripping though. They wild. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm be honest. I wanna, uh, I had food. I'm some. I just it was a Popeyes chicken sandwich. That shit just came out. I remember this shit, so I pulled out the line. I'm like, hey, y'all about to smash it? He like, hey, bro, hey, you got something to eat? I mean, he's like, hey, bro, let me get some money, buy me something to eat. I'm like, so I just got the, the new chicken sandwich, bro. Like you can have it. He grabbed it like, fuck, I'm gonna do with that. You threw it down? Yeah, I'm like, bro, that's substance. You know what I'm saying? Like, you asking for substance, I'm giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they tripping though. Nah, you know they what I'm saying? Entitled they, as hell yeah, they be man. like, and, and they don't want to feel like they, you know what I'm saying? They feel like we uppity, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Now, I do, you know, I'm be real though, I do feel some of them though. Like, I just went to this one man, he was chilling. I was right outside uh, Wendy's. Um, I was with this dude named Nitro. Always shout out to Nitro, you know what I'm saying? One of the dudes that helped me uh, start rapping and shout out to YG Tribe. And at the whole SMK movement, I love all them boys. But you know, what I'm saying I was with Nitro a few years back, and um, we we literally <coughs> just left Wendy. We all had the four for foes, and we was like, "Hey, bro, you hungry?" You know, what I'm saying we was all gonna give him something from our bag and stuff like that. And he was like, "Nah, I'm meditating." And I was like, "Damn!" Like in the middle of this, like you meditating. He was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm happy." And bro was just chilling. And so from that moment, that really like stuck with me. I was like, damn, like, I always remember that when I think of them because they could be anybody in that in, in that form. I believe, you know what I'm saying? I believe that. I'm very spiritual. I believe that, you know what I'm saying? People are, some people come to test you. Mm -hmm. they, or test what you want to do. Like you asking God for this, that, or that. He's going to test you on that. And sometimes he brings people along to test you for what you're asking for as well. But yeah, um, I dated a uh, chick. Basically, she used to do that. And it was kind of fucking up our shit because she was giving money out the household that we really didn't have to yeah. give. And like before we even moved in together, like she'll call me and say, All my ties fucked up. I sent her four hundred dollars. Then you come to find out she done gave this motherfucker yeah. forty, this motherfucker fifty, and before you she you know what I'm saying, she need money again and it's just like it kinda of fucked up our relationship. So you definitely need to teach people when to give and mm -hmm. when not to give. Yeah. Some people will be giving and they know somebody else will give it to them and it's, 
Yeah, they see a fucked up relationship. Yeah, de- yeah, definitely, definitely that, definitely that. People sometimes people don't know how to uh, balance. If that makes sense, if everything comes in balance. You know, moderation and balance. You know what I'm saying? They want to always play the role of helping people, but you're really destroying yourself. Yeah, that should be hard though. Sometimes, yeah, like, if you really want to give, like, yeah. I have tips or something in my armrest, and I see a hungry person, I'm like, shit, I want to give you this, but I'm hungry. Like, it's hard to be, be like, all right, when am I supposed to give? Especially if you feel like God testing me or yeah, like God definitely. saying, you need to do this. But sometimes I have to be like, no, nah, I really ain't got it to give right now. Like, I'm stacking my money up and. I'm yeah. grinding because I ain't got it. Yeah, no, nah, that's not nah, damn sure. Or, hey, I've been there before. I only got $20 and got to pay. You know what I'm saying? The last day can. I'm just like, I want to fuck with you, but okay. I got to keep my daughter in school. I don't, you know, don't feel bad for that. You know what I'm saying? Because again, that could be your test mm-hmm. at the same time. If you always used to giving out and expundedly, that might be your test. You might say, no, nah, I got to take care of myself for one. Right. That's true, too. Okay, so um, when last time you got caught cheating? The last time you cried. Well, last time I cried a couple of days ago. Last time I got caught cheating years ago. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I just ain't like the way it made my girl feel. If that makes sense, like if I'm supposed to be all this, supposed to be a provider, supposed to be handling my business, supposed to be the man with, you know what I'm saying? The kid is like, shit. Do I want to keep making you feel this way? And then at the same time, I always think of my kids like, shit. If the dude did this, I'll be ready to kill him. ASAP. Cause he cheated on her. I'm a. I, I just told you we take a karate. We going to fight Monday. My daughter got karate Monday, but I'm her best friend though. Like you know what I'm saying. But so it's like I can't be that way about my daughter. If that makes sense. If I'm not you know, if, respecting, if, somebody respecting this, somebody else's daughter. You know what I'm saying. Especially her mom. If that makes sense, like she always gotta be respected, you know what I'm saying? Like now, I don't even like raising my voice, you know what I'm saying, in front of her just because I want her to, <coughs> to know like a man should do this, but he should not do that. So when you did cheat, cause men don't never have an answer to this question. Yeah. Why did you cheat? Why did I cheat? Honestly, curiosity. It's always cur- curiosity. I'm not gonna say that's everybody. Some people do that shit out of spite. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Some people always wanna see if they still got it. But for me, I'm be honest, it was curiosity. You know what I'm saying? Curiosity. Had kill, you killing the yeah, cat? Killed the cat. Literally, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that was one thing though, you know what I'm saying? But we don't have them problems. Uh again, when you know yourself, okay. you don't know the, you know what I'm saying? When you know yourself, you don't really need to go out there and venture and see what's out in the sea world. What was you curious sense. about though? Like if you could pull her or Yeah, again, just trying to see if I still got it. You, got you know what I'm saying? Okay. Cur- yeah, curious if I still got it down. She really fucking with me, damn. You know what I'm saying, like that. And I, again, I didn't like the way it made made my partner feel. So she, I had to make a change right there. And luckily, you know what I'm saying, we got past it. But she's again, it's the type of man are you? Yeah. At the end of the day, like you can live, you can be out here living a lot. You can be out here giving fake love. You know what I'm saying? Or you can be out here being the, trying to be the best version of yourself. For yeah, all men. Yeah, fake love in there. <laughs> so why you cry? Why I cry? Ah, oh, just being let down to be honest. Mm-hmm. I be have I have high expectations for everybody around me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, and I'm be honest, I am emotionally vested. You know what I'm saying? I wear my heart on my sleeve, and that's something that I'm learning to do is love myself before I give it to others. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just too much too invested with something. Um, no love lost, and I don't like that. But everything happens for a reason, and I don't never, you know what I'm saying? I don't never question it. What's happening? I used to be like, damn, why this happened to me, and just be sitting in sorrow. But shit, hey, it happened. I got hit with the hits. Wish them well. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, yeah, hey, yeah, still gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the motherfucker's number one fan. To be honest, really, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you gotta learn to love yourself first before All you, the time yeah, you gotta learn yeah, that. before you go out here and trying to try to do X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you're financially, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Available and ready for what you're asking for, what you're trying to do. Because if you're not, it always catches up to you. It's like trying to run from a, a ball that's coming down here. It's always going, you know what I'm saying? Catch up to you. Do you see your emotions like being an issue in the future because you're doing music? Mm, nah, nah, I don't. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. You know what I'm the saying? Battles. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm really am looking forward to. It. I, I want to see what can, what type of stories can I tell. That's my biggest thing. Um, I do music for the reason I want to live, like leave my daughter, 
Um, I have a, a, her best friend, my little sister-in-law, you know what I'm saying? They love my music. I want to leave them something to where anything happens to me, they can just press play and be like, damn, okay, he talked about this. You know what I'm saying? Damn, he talked about that. Like, that's why I do music. My favorite movie is Troy. But in the movie, he said, you know what I'm saying? He not going for the the fame and the, I mean, he's not going for the riches and, and all that. He's going to be remembered forever. Right. And that's why I do music is so, this, this body's only going to be, it's only tangible for a couple of years. So that's your legacy. Yeah, it's the, to live forever. Okay, so have your um, wife ever cheated on you? Nah. Nah, you know. Um, Here he goes. Nah, we talk. Nah, we talk. You know what I'm saying? We 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 very open. I will say that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the very first thing is in a, in any foundation is communication. No matter it's with your homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Your colleagues at work, between y'all two on the radio station, you know what I'm saying? Communication. I gotta make sure that you know what I'm saying. Everybody's is you know what I'm saying somewhere. And we have you know what I'm saying talks. You know what I'm saying? Now it's been times where she wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But I've had to, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. No, like, no. How like, you know that? No, because they talk. But, yeah, we talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been times like, she would tell me, like, nigga, I'm, I haven't been happy in da 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 da. And I'm like, damn, like, shit, fuck, you ain't been happy. She's like, anybody else can go out here and do da 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 da. I'm just warning your time. And I'm just like, damn, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can either man up, man up and make the changes, or you can keep letting that shit slip. You know what I'm saying? She told me like shit. You know what I'm saying? I get looks that niggas came up to me. Da 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 da. da. I turned them down. But you know what I'm saying? Like, what you gonna do? And then, but and that's kind of you know what I'm saying? Like, cause we really was on the fence at one point in time. We was like, fuck you, fuck you. I don't want to see you again. Fuck this. And then it just came to daylight. It's one day like literally grabbed all the shit, packing up, about to dip. I just grabbed the hand. I was just like, bro, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, bro. Is this really what we gonna do? We got a kid, X, Y, and Z. And you know what I'm saying? From that point, she, we just told, I told her everything I, I felt. You know what I'm saying? She did too, cried, threw shit, whatever, like that. Hell hey, hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, shit, that's goddamn what kind of what it was. And it honestly kind of felt like that because I'm colorblind. So I literally see black and white. I'm so yeah. like, nah, it's not dead serious though. So like, <laughs> that's it felt like that. I'm like, oh no, like that's it felt just like that. Uh, but what? That's it felt just like that, like a '60s movie, boy. Right. Was, uh, all that shit. But yeah, definitely. He said, I see it. <laughs> nah, for real, colorblind. So that shit really felt like a movie. I see in old school movies. <laughs> okay, um, so like, um, the first time a female like insults your intelligence or um, play with you, do you cut her off? Or do you give them more chance? Nah, cut her off. That that that's the sign of no respect. Respect for me is golden. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect yourself. You gotta respect people around you. But nah, I don't play that. Once I feel disrespect, you know what I'm saying, or somebody not respecting me on a level that I respect them, that kinda start detaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what would you say the most hateful and hurtful thing your wife has said to you? I guess I guess you want to pick somebody up, and maybe your uh, maybe your dad. The most hurtful thing she said. Why? So, only thing she said was the way you feeling. Nobody give a fuck. You know, it, 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 not, it hurt though. Now, but it was a real it was a real fact though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was going through some. You know what I'm saying? Like I made music uh, cause I was suicidal growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like just because of not having not having a relationship with my dad all that shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Not really having nobody to talk to. So, <clears throat> just talking to her and shit like that, one day, <clears throat> just sitting there just swallowing them in my own, you know what I'm saying? Like, piss type shit, like, duh, duh, man, fuck this, duh, 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 duh. She's like, bro, nobody give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That shit was brutally honest. She was like, nobody give a fuck. You see that girl right there? That's the only person that give a fuck. Like, I can die tomorrow, but you gotta be goddamn straight enough for her, and that was it. Most of my dad though, that nigga said a whole bunch of shit. That nigga just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like he he from New York, from Buffalo, oh, New York. The worst. Yeah, so that nigga like foul. <laughs> like that nigga told me one day he came down. I'm asleep. This nigga swung a bat, and like I woke up. I was like, oh, like no, nah, real talk. Like my dad, real New Yorker. Like you know what I'm saying? But this is the time like I'm on. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the house. I'm trapping. I'm I'm making hella bread. And he like, nigga, why you still here? I was like, man, fuck. All right, you know I'm feeling myself now. 
And he like, I got something for you. Saying she can't blame him no. Grown man. That's what I'm telling him though. Sleep, come downstairs and swing the bat, but he didn't hit me. That shit was like that close to my face. That nigga said, get out. He, he said, get the fuck out my house or I'm going to kill you or I'm going to have somebody come kill you. God damn. Straight up, straight up. And I was just like, you know what? Got my shit and dip. But that was it, though. And I knew he was serious, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen my dad in situations and I was just like, say no more. <laughs> like, say no more. He's like, nah, he really going to try to nah, fuck me yeah, up. Yeah, for real, I was like, say no more. That was <laughs> it. Going, yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah, that. It was over. But then, then that was right, right when I was in the Monte Carlo. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. So everything happened for a reason, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, if I would have still been there, I probably would have never went to the service. Still probably been trapping it out. Probably would have caught a case. You know what I'm saying? Just been in shootouts, whatever, like that. But the service really, I hated that shit, but I had to suck it up and do it. You know what I'm saying? So again, it just everything <coughs> just led up to like everything in my life I'm looking at now, like damn, like now I'm like, damn, this shit happened because of that. And this shit happened because of that. And it just, it all leads up to something. Right. So I'm not at the guessing stage in life no more. I'm just like going with Roll the flow. With the yeah, running with the punches, playing the cards. Okay, we're gonna switch it up just a minute. Okay, since you got a daughter, it was a story about um, this little girl, they made her eat a, a waffle out the garbage in school. So in that situation, what would you do if somebody did that to your little girl? Hell no. The teacher? Yeah, one of the teachers. Yeah. Teacher? Honestly, oh, as much as, you know what I'm saying, you, you as much as we all know what we we would want to do, you know what I'm saying, you have to handle it in the right thing because you go up there and hit shooting at the teachers, all that, you terroristic at that time, you know what I'm saying? So it's really about how would you handle it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm be honest, I would have went to make sure my daughter was straight, you know what I'm saying? Second thing, it would have been hard for me, so I probably wouldn't have even been up there, you know what I'm saying? I would have wanted to talk to the principal. That teacher though, I would have, I would have got like now to the teacher on some shit. Like I would have talked to the principal, you know, I did everything I would have did, placed a lawsuit on the school, got it out of that. But that teacher though, I would have called him. So, like, you know what oh, I'm saying? Celebrity. Yeah, definitely. Like you know, you that's it. He, that's like human rights. Like that man says, you're not gonna violate my. What if the teacher was a lady? My wife gonna catch you slipping. They, they <laughs> like the teenage in your family to slap the shit out of. Them. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Somebody get somebody gonna catch you slipping. You gay? I somebody gonna catch you slipping. You know what I'm saying? No matter you know what I'm saying. No matter who you are, who you are, you gonna get caught slipping. You a preacher? Deacon gonna catch you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like somebody trust me. It's deep, you know what I'm saying? So it was a point that he went straight to like you can't go straight and shoot up the school. Like nah, he's not straight up nah, cause that, straight cause that's, like cause that's like I'm like again though, like I'm the type of dad in the world we in now, I can't play about my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So like in that situation, I always I, I tell everybody, like I didn't tell him, bro. The worst call y'all ever gonna get is y'all ever gonna hear is something that happened to my daughter. Cause at that point I mean, you guys gonna take God. It's, it's up. Yeah, it's up. Like I'm, hey, that's I feel like that's why I'm here to make sure this one is straight. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, hey, it's up anytime that's about how to be. Yeah, you get a um, women start fucking with niggas they need to fuck with instead of niggas they want to. Mm-hmm. Life will be good. Yeah. for the yeah. black community. But, I agree. But see, social media <laughs> fucked that up though. <laughs> Social media, social media, social media, social media, social media, people want the picture instead of going through, don't nobody want to build no more, you know what I'm saying, like, we build our shit, you know what I'm saying, we ain't just come together because you look good, I look good, you know what I'm saying, and we don't have a YouTube relation, nah, fuck that, you know what I'm saying, like, no nobody, social media fucks up everything now, you know what I'm saying, people stop on their goals and dreams just because, like, you might have an idea of, just say, doing a podcast, right, somebody might flip up, and then see million dollars worth of game, be like, man, I'll never get to their level. When the only thing they got is just a computer and a mic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But before all that, before you never, before nobody ever seen the process, it was so many people completing the task. You, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody wanted to, back in the day, everybody had real goals and there wasn't nobody really talking about it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now everybody like, oh shit, Brody just bought this. And they seeing the end result. Yeah, they seeing the end result. Da, 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 da. They seeing the end result too soon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody is just going through the trials and tribulations. Okay, I need to get an LLC. Damn, then actually go to the office and get turned down. So no, you need to get tech, your tax ID next. 
don't nobody, you know what I'm saying? They don't go through the process. So now they, if, if it's too hard and they can't do it within five, 10 minutes from their cell phone, a lot of people stop on dreams, mm-hmm. have million dollar ideas. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure somebody thought of Instagram and Facebook before this shit, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing that I'm learning too, that's why I said like the way you ask, like then you go in the studio and not make music. I feel like the universe sends where they want you to receive. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I I didn't thought of some shit. I'm like, damn, that'd be a good idea. And not acted on it. A couple months, a year later, I'm just like, I thought of this shit. <coughs> I hate that. What the fuck? I you got so many saying? ideas every damn second. But that be the universe. You you download like a computer download. Mm-hmm. We download. Yeah, we actually catch downloads and receive them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you catch that. We we're we're in tune. You know what I'm yeah. saying? To be a melanated person, you're in tune with the higher beings. You know what I'm saying? So you can catch those vibes all the time. Okay, so do you really think you can handle like being in the industry? Cause you know, a lot of times we be in a relationship, your partner could be attracted to you, but you not normally what they go for. Mm-hmm. So when you out here seeing what you normally go for and they flawless. Gabrielle Union. And you think <laughs> and you, you think you can really just be like, I can turn down hundreds of women. Definitely. Cause you I'm be honest, man. You gotta know you gotta again it's where it go about knowing you. You know what I'm saying? If you know yourself, you're gonna know who you'll be able to be married to. You're gonna know around all these women, I can, I can, you know what I'm saying? I know I can't be curious, you know what I'm saying? I know we talked about that earlier, but now, you know, but at the same time, I got married when I was 21, literally freshly turned 21, you know what I'm saying? So I've been with her, now I'm 27 now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if that made sense, we seven years in this motherfucking shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Being together damn near eight. So it's like, we literally had to go through the pull, what, pulling up, punching car window, all type of shit, like, Went through it. Uh, shit ain't no, yeah. Yeah, 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 shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit perfect, but at the end of the day, though, that's what you ever hear like, oh, it's just me and you against the world. That's what forms that bond is the shit that y'all go it's through. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I know you got a crazy, sto- crazy story question. No, no, <laughs> uh, no, I don't. When the last time you felt um, broken and defeated? Broken and defeated. Yeah. The, day, the other day I told y'all I just cried. You know what I'm saying? It felt broken just because it put a lot of energy into that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The situation was it really, really just put a lot of energy into somebody I thought was going to be in my circle forever. You know what I'm saying? That was like the biggest disappointment was that it's honestly like losing a, a, like a real like brother. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to, but you know what I'm saying, thinking about it and everything like that, I understand I didn't lose him, you know what I'm saying, we're just on different paths now in life, and you have to understand, like, sometimes you meet people and form those close bonds to help people, and sometimes people help you, or the situation is always, it can be mutual, where both of y'all are symbiotic, where both of y'all are helping each other, you know what I'm saying, and then sometimes, you know, they have to go on a whole nother direction, and you do. So that's kind of where it was. So once I realized that, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I wasn't felt broken and shit like that. But I'm just like, damn, we not, why me and this motherfucker argue? We ain't never argue, none of that shit. Because we down there like brothers, you know what I'm saying? So that situation, that's just petty, petty shit. You know what I'm saying? But it, it'll work itself out. Okay, this is a um, new topic. Um, Slim Jim, he got arrested because they were saying um, he pulled out his girlfriend's hair. And then she got on social media and was like, wow, I can't believe y'all arresting him. I told y'all he didn't touch me. So, like, has uh, y'all got into, like, a dispute and he got, like, portrayed a different way, like, when somebody else heard it or? Nah, where everything we do is behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? Privacy is key. That want to last longer in, in anything in relationship with everything, don't talk about it, be about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that shit like that when they want to talk too much and got everybody involved her homegirls over there and all that shit when you want to show out that's when all that shit tends to happen like the whole blue face with the artist thing i know y'all seen that with whack and all them and the artist i guess is trying to get that trying to kick the artist out it's too many yeah, it's too many people involved that should have been a topic just between whack and the artist you know what i'm saying it's not my situation though but at the same time privacy anything business you know what i'm saying don't never let too many mouths know what you're doing and it's always gonna fuck up 
putting too many miles on what you're doing. Every and then too, everybody don't want your best interest. You know what I'm saying? So she probably could have told the home girls, like, yeah, me and her got the argument, and she probably her home girl probably jealous of her. Mm -hmm. Oh, she going to jail? He going to jail? And you never know how that situation could have happened. But privacy though, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, I just another something happened on social media. Uh, this guy, um, I guess he catches he catches BM, his baby mom, in the house with his eye. So uh, he basically he kicks in the door and was just like yelling at the guy like I'm gonna get you when you come outside. And she actually started fighting him. So in that situation, like what what should a guy do? Like do you just let it go? Like if you know your eye smashing, or, yeah. like what do you do? One, you gonna you gonna be hurt. You know what I'm saying? Don't be hurt and inside no box. If that makes sense. Don't be hurt and but and sitting in behind no cell. Now she didn't. Now she didn't want. You know what I'm saying? Don't ruin it. Oh, I'm a uh, da, da, da. bullet, bro. She didn't already did what she did. No matter anything you can do from that point is not gonna make her love you no more. You think it's the thing it's step through? No, nah, just because like I know people like that didn't die. I know people that my one of my closest homeboys. I call him my cousin named Davion Curry. Just passed. Bro, literally went to jail when we was I would say 14 years old. Got out. Burr been in jail for 14. He was down there. He got out at 28 and was only out like a month or two and passed. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know, like, when when you was, like, you when you would want to talk to him, like, after being institutionalized. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like talking to, like, a grown child. A child. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you could do something to be cool or to let everybody know you hard or, but do you have that time in you? You know what I'm saying? Like life went on. Like my boy never got to get his first car. Mm -hmm. My brother never got his first job. You know what I'm saying? My brother, I'm pretty sure he smoked. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a lot of stuff. Like I'm like, damn, bro, never partied in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Bro, never had a kid. Brian get married. You know what I'm saying? Brian go to college. Brian experienced X, Y, and Z. No, I want to say that too, bro. I want to say that too. Like, Brian never have a, had a trainway. Brian have none of that. Brian, you know what I'm saying, bro? Never walked into the club, seen a girl left with the club. You know what I'm saying? Left, like, I'm just experienced, like, as a man. And so that right there, like, that was the hardest passion I had to deal with just because wanting so much more from him and knowing the type of guy he was, but knowing he was there because trying to prove a point. You know what I'm saying? So we all did our things. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, thank God I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? With y'all, and I really mean that. But we all got chances. You know what I'm saying? If you get a chance, it's what you're going to do with it. You can make it right, you know what I'm saying? And walk another life and make people aware of what you're doing. Or, you know what I'm saying? You can keep on down that path and keep being an influence. So that's where I'm at with life. Okay, I guess it's time to wrap it up. You was a good guest, you know what I'm saying? Breeze, breeze. Okay, so uh, tell us, like, I guess about what you got coming out and, like, how can people find your music or whatever. You, I don't know if you act and all No, nah, definitely. So um, what I got coming out, I got a project I'm calling Crown. You know what I'm saying? That's coming out, um, followed by a project where I want to call Kings. I'm, I'm in love with, like, the whole monarchy type of thing. Uh, Crown is pretty much um, a project that's going to be about knowing yourself, mm -hmm. knowing the power that you can have in any situation and kings is going to stay is a project that's going to be like once you know yourself that makes sense the influence that you can give that's called keeping intelligence necessary gaining success so that, those are the two projects i got coming out i got videos coming out as well i engineer um always you know what i'm saying charging on the session huh charge on the session you'll be honest i do free work what yeah i do free work i love to be around talented people I'm just saying, how will people? Yeah, I, I, I love to be around talented people. I love to network. I love to, you know what I'm saying, see how somebody else put, you know what I'm saying, think or their thought pattern to making a song. You know what I'm saying? Because free work for me makes me better. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I really get to lock in with an artist. It's not all about money. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been places to where I didn't spend a rack in the studio. And the mix, I'm like, nigga, I would have killed this shit in my own house. I was about to say, how long it take for the for the turnaround? Nah, turn, nah, my turn. I do that shit quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, I've been doing music since what sixth grade, 
literally, like, first Mike was in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying, like, on Audacity, Right. you know what I'm saying, so now it's just something that I just put all my time and my soul into, you know what I'm saying, that, I'm learning how to do tattoos too, just because I feel like um, we as black kings and queens need to stop working for these people. And you know what I'm saying, to find something to always keep us happy mm -hmm. and always be of, of service. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know people always gonna want tattoos. I got sleeves and everything, so and I know how to draw too, so that's something that's up my alley. One, right? Yeah, that's up my alley is just like designing and shit like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. What's Easy. your social media? Social media. Y'all can follow me at I am Eastside KO Tell 104. Them. Again, that is at I am Eastside KO 104. I'm on Twitter. They just deleted me at like 7K. But I'm at, yeah, that, that shit hurt. That's they be capping. Yeah. They did that shit just because I had a, um, that was when all these killings was going on. I made a song called America with 3Ks and shit like that. Yup. And they took my page right the fuck down. And that shit started catching on fire. Australia, a news reporter in Australia had actually posted the song. Yeah, like he posted that shit on their news station and everything. Like this shit was that shit was catching up and they deleted took all my it's shit. Big. Yeah. yeah, they took my shit down from that shit. Yeah, it was like you you back hell no. uh, Yeah, you I'm knowing that now. now. Yeah, I just now made one okay. and, they, and, and they literally like they got me. Um, it's on some shot. Like I wish I had it. Um, it's I literally had to sign all this shit just to get my page like to get back on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I mean Insta awesome. Instagram and Twitter. Sure. Yeah. No, real, I'm real. shadow band. I got like five pages though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and they do that too. When you out there speaking real and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put your head down. Man. Put your head down there. I appreciate you for coming through. Man, thank y'all. Yeah.